If you're someone who absolutely hates learning new tech tools, well, firstly, same. But secondly, you are one of many. And when it comes to building a website, learning new tools to help you reach your final destination takes a bit of time. And in that case, Webflow may not be the best website builder for you. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing Contra and Webflow. Specifically, we're gonna talk about how you customize your portfolio, find clients, and run your freelance business with project management tools. So at a high level, Webflow. It's a no-code website builder. Essentially, what they're trying to do is make it easy to build a stunning, customizable website without knowing how to code, which is amazing. The easier, the better. But like I mentioned before, it does involve a very high learning curve. If you've never built a website before, Webflow isn't probably the platform that you're gonna start with especially if you just want a basic portfolio that is more functional than it is customizable with a million forms, elements, moving parts. It can be done a bit easier. Now, Contra at a high level essentially is a freelance marketplace which allows for freelancers to showcase their best work, services, and recommendations, all while finding remote freelance high-paying jobs, managing your work through contracts, invoices, commission-free payments, and so much more. Now, in today's video, we're specifically gonna be talking about our feature portfolios by Contra, which is our version of a freelance website, and we're going to be comparing that to Webflow. We actually have an amazing video that is completely around portfolios by Contra, so if you haven't checked it out, be sure to watch that. It will give you a really in-depth look at this new feature, but we'll go over the most important parts so we can compare. Okay, the first element is customizing a portfolio website. On Webflow, you can choose to edit your website using their HTML CSS editor, or you can pick a template. Now, I mentioned the learning curve around figuring out how to use the tools on Webflow because it isn't something that's automatic or auto-generated. Now on Contra, when it comes to building a portfolio, everything is supposed to be simple. And it is. When you have your free Contra profile, you have all your projects, you have all of your past work, all of your services and recommendations. In one click of a button, we take all that information and we auto-generate it into a personal website that is specifically made for freelancers. And it's still customizable. So if you're not a designer, you're not a coder, you don't really know how to make things look good, you don't have to worry because on the sidebar of your Contra portfolio, we have different design templates and themes. Now, within each of those different themes, you can actually customize the fonts, the colors, your logo, you can add a custom domain. The list is honestly pretty amazing. And it's amazing that there's not an overwhelming amount of options because as soon as you give someone a thousand different things they can do, it kind of turns into a circus. And we mentioned this in our video around Contra versus Wix because things can get messy quickly. Now, I will say the best part about the portfolios on Contra, in my humble opinion, is the fact that it's connected back to all of these freelancing tools, commission-free payments, contracts, invoices, messaging, job discovery. It is honestly so easy to not only create your website, but then to be discovered. And we're gonna jump into that. So the second element, finding clients. When it comes to freelancing, you can have an amazing portfolio website, but if you are not discoverable and if you can't find clients, then you're not getting paid. So on Webflow, that is not their primary goal. They are a website building tool. And so that means they don't really have any type of discoverability, uh, jobs, there's none of that really apparent. It's pretty much up to you to figure out how you distribute your Webflow website. Now, on Contra, we actually took things off your plate a little bit. So when it comes to finding clients, there's a few different ways. We have an opportunities feed. On that feed, we are showing you opportunities that are made for you. Because in your work preferences settings, you can actually set the different filters for the type of work that you want to attract. And then we show that work to you in the opportunities feed. You can also go through and actually look at the opportunities that fit into a certain category. So designer or writer or engineer. Aside from this, we actually match people to opportunities as well. So again, your work preference settings matter a lot because we're gonna be matching freelancers to clients who align on pricing, timeline, all of those elements. Another very important part to all of this is being discoverable. So people who have portfolios on Contra actually get prioritized in our Discover feed. Of course, you need to have a high quality portfolio, 
but the people who have went the extra mile to create a portfolio or even a high quality free profile are prioritized. We are all about quality. And another element to the discoverability on Contra is making sure that you have your availability status turned on. So you can navigate to your accepting new clients and your work preferences, toggle that on because that allows clients to know exactly who is available and who is not. And when they're on the discover feed, they can use that to filter. So if they are hiring a project and they need to hire someone today, they can see that you're ready today. On Contra, we also give you the ability to invite clients who are outside of Contra into Contra. You can do this by adding them to a contract proposal or even invoicing them. Now the last element to all of this is project management. I've already mentioned a few of these tools, but again, really Webflow isn't there to help you with the contracts, the invoices, the payments. And so what does that mean for you? You create a website and then what? Now you have to have a different subscription for payments, another subscription for invoicing tools, contracts, and then all of a sudden it becomes a headache. And this is exactly why people complain about freelancing because you know you become your own boss and your own manager and your own accountant and the, the list just goes on. And yes, I agree, that is very stressful. So our goal here at Contra is to take that stress off of your plate, to create an all-in-one platform where you can have your contracts, your invoices, commission-free payments, messaging, discovery, jobs, right there in front of you. No more subscriptions. And all of those elements I just mentioned are free. One thing I do wanna highlight, it's very near and dear to my heart, is the contract process. Because on Contra, we make every client have an upfront deposit so that everyone is protected. That means that one, you're already on a contract, which is a great step forward. Two, you have some type of deposit to keep, you know, security before you start working. And then three, we also have the option to create upfront payments. So a client could say, hey, I am gonna pay you 50% upfront. You could say, actually, I need 75% upfront. Of course, great, there you go, done in Contra. And now you have 75% of your project fee upfront, then you can work and you only have to worry about the rest. Again, the stress, being lifted off your plate is our goal. Okay, we're gonna keep this one quick, but that is the high level Webflow versus Contra. So again, choose the platform that makes the most sense for you and your goals. If your goal is to not find clients to get paid, to manage your contracts, all of these elements I shared about Contra, then maybe Contra isn't the best fit for you right now. But if it is, and if that's what you wanna do is to grow your freelance business, you should highly consider condensing as much as you can. I'm speaking from experience and it's gonna make your life 10 times easier. Okay, so if you have any questions about anything we just reviewed, drop it below. Also, we have a few different blogs that are gonna be really helpful when it comes to deciding which platform you should choose. So I'll link those below and be sure to like this video if you did find it helpful. If you want to subscribe to our channel, be our guest because we're gonna be coming out with new content around freelancing, freelancing tips, but also hiring freelancers as well. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the internet.